I feel like since 2010, electronic music has become a little bit of a sound design arms race, if you will, where techniques and sounds have become so complex and so crazy that people just starting to get into this space think that that's where they need to start or that they need to immediately download pitch map or some crazy plugin. And maybe for certain styles, that is a little bit true, but I think that there's a little bit of musicality being lost when you just jump straight to crazy sound design techniques. I know that I certainly made that mistake and it took me a little while to reverse that, that type of thinking in my brain. But that's why I wanted to make a video about this because it was a mistake that I kept making over and over again. And uh, I figured probably some of you are too. So I wanted to talk about it. And that is not worrying enough about articulation when it comes to writing synth lines, whether it be basses, leads, even sampling in some cases. And a big part of articulation is the lengths of the notes you are using. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is show a quick example of some real live instruments. This is the perfect example of what I mean by articulation and I want you to listen really closely to what's going on here. Right, so besides those being super funky and nice horns, shout out to Paul the Trombonist and uh, HollywoodHorns.com. But what we're hearing there is some horns and they're all playing these notes all over the place. But what they're also doing is lengthening certain notes and making other notes super short. Da 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 da. Right, so da da. It's da da. The one note is really long and then the second note ultra ultra short and staccato is the like more technical term for it but that adds so much groove and flavor that i feel like sometimes can be lost when we're writing electronic music and things are so perfect and in the box and perfectly quantized and whatever so i kind of wanted to create an exercise that just makes you focus on these note lengths and the different kinds of articulations that you can get with them so in the DAW, I just have some really simple drums going, like house drums. And then all I have is a serum patch, and it's just the most basic sine wave, square wave thing with a little bit of modulation going on. If you wanna copy it fully, you can, it's right here. But we're not going to focus on the patch at all. Really, we're just going to focus on the note lengths. We're not even gonna focus really on what note it is. So if we open up the MIDI we have for that patch, I'll make it bigger here. And literally, I'm just gonna dot in 16th notes here. I'll turn this on, and I'm gonna do F0, which is be like, you know, a low bass note, because I wanna make it to be kind of a, a bass line feel. And that's, this is what that's gonna sound like. Which, because the, I like the patch, I think that that sounds cool. But I feel like there's a lot more groove we could have here. It's very static. I couldn't listen to this for 16 bars straight. You know what I mean? So the first thing we're gonna do is grab every single note and we're gonna shorten it like crazy. We're gonna hold Alt and that will take a, you know our note length off grid. And we're going to make them extremely short. Not too short, but, you know, pretty damn short. So now we have this... And also I'm swinging it, uh, if you can't hear. I am using the groove right here. So I'm using the Ableton swing on the 61 setting. And just having that already is so much more groove. But what we can do is create these kind of accent patterns and articulation patterns just by making a few of these notes longer and keeping the rest of them short. Let me show you what I mean. So if I take, say, this note and I stretch it way out, listen to this. It adds so much accent on that particular note, and it adds so much groove and liveliness to this otherwise boring bass line. So let's just try to lengthen out a few more of these. Maybe we'll make this one long, and we'll make this one like not as long, but long-ish, you know? That's already kind of like a cool groove. 
But l just for the sake of exercising this, let's try and do a completely different articulation so you can see kind of what it sounds like. So maybe we make this note long and maybe we just make all the downbeat notes long. So it's a little bit more like stompy. So it sounds so much more like driving and, and kind of groovy, but I wonder if we lengthen this note again, this might sound cool. Or maybe shorten this one and maybe have a short one here. Maybe lengthen this one out a bit like that. I mean, there's like six different variations that I just went through of the same bass line, same patch right there. All I did was make some of the notes longer. That's literally all I did. And another cool way we'll be able to achieve this effect just inside of Serum is using velocity, actually. So this will be a little bit of a different sound. We'll do like a square wave. So it's kind of got a dubstepy feel. And you see I've already drawn some MIDI. And just for now, we'll make all of the velocity the exact same at 127. And we'll keep the sound ultra simple. We're just going to put a low pass filter on it. We're going to throw the LFO onto the cutoff. We're going to use the LFO in envelope mode and turn the BPM off. So we've got Hertz here. So now we've got something like this. Very nice, that's exactly what we need. Just dial in the filter a little bit. Cool, I like that. Next, we're gonna grab velocity and we're gonna throw it on the rate of the filter. And just do something close to this and, and see what you get. So if we bring down the, the velocity, the note is a lot longer. And if the velocity is high, we know the note is going to be a lot shorter. So just like in the other example, we can start to build articulations and build some kind of phrasing going on with our bass line. So I want this first one to be long. I want these to be short. And then these can be like medium. And then long, long for the last one. And that is so much more interesting than just this. It feels like it actually has a bit of movement because of that articulation. And these are things that I think get lost sometimes on beginners who have just started making music on the computer and never, uh, you know, learn an instrument or been in a traditional setting. And it's really simple things like this that I think can make your music not only stand out, but just sound more musical. And that's literally all this video is about, just to spread awareness about note lengths. So, um, subscribe. Bye.